Welcome back YouTube. So in my last episode, I sprayed the underside of the car and I sprayed the front bumper. Now the bumper, I did it outside and it actually rained as I was doing it. So I've got a few water droplets in the paint. Now this was on the second or the third coat. So in theory, I should be able to sand it back, polish it up. However, because it's got a satin agent in the direct gloss, if I did that, it would make the paint go glossy, I've been told. And obviously I don't want that. So it leaves me with only one option, and that, that is to sand it down again and respray it, unfortunately. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. So here's the affected area. As you can see, just a few water droplets. Like I say, normally I'd be able to sand this back, polish it, and you would never know. But not today, I'm afraid. So I've got a 320 pad. It's a good quality Merca one. I'm going to put it on my D8. And away we go. <laughs> Not sure if you can see, but I would have got away with it with some 1500, assuming it wasn't satin. So it's a little bit annoying, but hey ho. So I'm just going to sand the heavily affected areas, and the rest I'm going to use Scotch Bright on. Now, Luckily for me, there was a little bit of hazing on the bottom. So it's kind of good that it, this has happened because it means I'm going to get a better finish. So if it didn't do it, I probably would have just left it. So yeah, I can uh, perfect it, shall we say. So that's the affected bits done. I'm now going to get some soapy water and some scotch bright and do the rest of the bumper. Right, I've got the soapy water, I've got the scotch bright. Now it's time to make a mess. As I've said in previous videos, this stuff's brilliant. It's, uh, it's really good at giving stuff a key without taking too much paint off. It's also, using the soapy water is a really good way of cleaning the panel before you paint it. Obviously, this shouldn't really need a lot of cleaning, but say, I don't know, say it's off a car and it's, you know, it's a little bit grubby, it's good. Good way of just removing the grime and the debris. And then when you uh, panel wipe, you just get the last little bit off. Yeah, not only that, the water also stops it from being dusty. So it just makes it a little bit nicer to work with. It means it's just, you know, just that bit easier, that bit cleaner. That a little bit more enjoyable as well. And the painting is quite therapeutic, I think. I mean, some people hate it, but it's one of them things. If you take the time, you do a really good job. You're really happy with your achievements at the end. It's not really cost you a lot of money. So save yourself a fortune. So I would recommend anybody giving it a go. So I'm just going to dry that side off and I would say that's done. So you can probably see on the camera this side is starting to go matte. Which is exactly what you want, you want a nice matte finish. That means that you've taken all the shine off and the paint's going to stick to it really well. So yeah, that side's done. So I'm just going to use a heat gun just to dry the bumper off and make sure I haven't missed anything. I know if I have because it'll still be shiny. Or should I say satin. So as you can hopefully see, it's dry. There's no shiny spots left. This is now ready for paint, bar panel wipe. Right, I'm now going to move on to something a little bit more fiddly, the grill. Now, Vauxhall lovers will know these are GTE SR grills. They're very delicate, they've got a plastic bracket, we've got three plastic brackets across the top and they always break, like this. Very common, crack. They should have a little insert in them really, but they never did. So that's the first problem, so I've just got to be careful of that. Secondly, the paint is coming off everywhere, so it's going to need a good sand down. Um, it never really stuck to it very well in the first place for some reason, not really sure why. The third problem is some of these slats are broken. Now, only slightly, but I've just got to be careful. You could remove this. They're essentially uh, plastic welded on, but I don't want to risk damaging it. So I think I'm just going to be really carefully sand it down. I'll mask this off and then spray the thing. That's the plan. Thank <laughs> you. 
Now, because this is so bad in places, I'm going to start with the red scotch bright because it's a little bit more abrasive. It obviously will scratch it more, but I'll finish it with the black. So looking at this, you can see it's been painted once, twice, three, four, five times maybe. There's various different coats. It looks like it was originally black. I think it was off a of GTE originally. GTEs were color coded standard. SRs were just plain plastic. But I think this was an originally painted one from the factory, which is better for me because it's easy to prep in theory. So yeah, this is making light work of the paint. It's coming off easily, which is good. The broken bracket, I'm thinking, I may, I'm not exactly sure I can do it, but I might try and cut another bit of plastic and plastic weld it on. I'm not sure what kind of plastic this is. Does anybody know? If you do, comment below, please. ABS, ABS plastic. So if I get another little bit of ABS plastic, I might be able to cut a piece that's the right size and then plastic weld it on which would be good. I could also two pack bond a washer on top. Wouldn't look quite as nice, but it'll do the job. But I need to do something really, cause it's on its last legs. There's a particularly bad bit here. So I'm just gonna use some um, Abronet cloth to polish that out. That's got rid of that nicely. Right, I'm done with the red. I'm now gonna move on to the gray scotch bright. I think that's about done. With the exception of the brackets need some TLC. Right, all done. Next job is to make good of these. So I've literally just broken the last bit of this off, but I'm not gonna look at it as a bad thing. I reckon I can repair it. And then I'm gonna try and weld that up and that one. That's the plan. Soldering iron is warming up. I'm gonna try and reattach this little bit of broken plastic. So I've not done a great amount of plastic welding in the past, but what I have done has been relatively successful. So I'm gonna give it a go. I might start with this bit just for the practice. So I'm gonna go on the reverse side. And you need to essentially melt the tip into the plastic and drag it along. So we're just gonna go over this on the other side. Don't get me wrong, it's not perfect, but a bit of a light sand, it will be good enough to go again. This piece, the crack's not bad, but still needs doing. And the back side. I'm now going to have a go reconstructing this piece here. So I've got some scrap plastic, which is an ABS, but it may work. I'm gonna give it a go, but to start off with, I think I'm just gonna glue the original bit back on. So I'm gonna glue this piece. When I say glue, I mean weld. Right, here we go. That's working quite nicely, that. Moving it over with the heat. I get plenty into the corner. What I may do just to make this that bit stronger is once it's all done, I may go over the back side with two pack adhesive as well, just to give it every little bit of hope we can. We can, but I'm quite pleased so far. There we go, we attacked. So I've just got this little bit of scrap plastic here. Whenever I go touching it, if it works, I'll trim it afterwards. So far, so good. If 
Right. It's on. It seems fairly solid. So I'm going to trim it now. And then neaten it up. So that's the semi-finished item. I'm going to clean it up a little bit more with a file. But that doesn't look bad, does it? Now obviously, that isn't 100% perfect, but come on, it's not bad is it? A little bit of filler on the top, I'll reinforce the underside with a little bit of two-pack adhesive, but overall, that's nice and strong. You can't really tell, so I'm really chuffed. Not bad, eh? So it's the next day. I have prepped the grill. There's a couple of little bits I'm not happy with, so I'm gonna high build the grill, which I didn't really want to do, but needs must. And I'm also gonna high build this wing mirror cover because it's gone back to bare plastic in places and I just wanna make sure it's got a really good finish. So that's the plan now. Once again, always use a proper mask. It's a lot safer. Better for your lungs in the long term. Right, two coats are now done. Right guys, it's been 24 hours. The primer's now dry, so I'm gonna block it back and then we're gonna put the gray paint on. Right, we're all prepped, we're panel wiped, we're ready to go. Right guys, painting's done, really chuff with it. I think it's come out really well considering. Uh, I'm gonna wrap the video up there, I think. Please remember, if you like what you see, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much, guys, and see you next time.